so as a student so in this lecture we'll see that how to read a string okay in c++ and to print a string using for loop so i'll just create a string okay so string st okay i have just created a variable of type string so now i'll just read the string so i'll just ask the user enter the string and this string will be read with the help of a function that is known as a get line function okay so we we'll, we won't use seen because it won't read the white spaces okay so this get line will read all the white spaces also so inside this will just pass seen and the string as an argument so now we have read the string now our main task is to print the string okay like okay a character array so with the help of for loop we'll just print this string okay so i am not printing the string like i am not writing like c out st okay it will directly print the string okay because we have read the string and this string class will okay it it has the property to print the string as it is okay but now in spite of this i am using the for loop so what i'll do i'll just start from zeroth index to the to one less than the length of the string okay because if the string is of character 5 then i'll be reading from 0 to 4 okay so what i'll do i'll just write from for int i equal to 0 i equal to 0 to so there is a function length function okay so i'll just call st dot length okay st dot length so this is a function that will that is used to find the length of the function okay the length of the string so i'll just write i equal to 0 i is less than st dot length and i plus plus okay so now i i have to write st either i can use the index okay i can just use the square bracket okay like st of i like we do in c or we can also use a predefined function that is at function okay so we'll just see the output what it prints so it has compiled successfully now we'll run so if i just write hello world so it has printed hello world okay so if i again okay if i again let us suppose i write for i and t i equal to zero and i is less than so there is a there is a function that is okay that is size of okay so size of function will also find the length of the string so i'll just call st dot size of okay and inside this okay this is a function and i'll just write i plus plus and if i write c out okay so in spite of st of i will just write st dot at of i okay so this at function is called on this st object so let's see what is the output okay this is not size of this is size okay so now we'll just see so again i'll just print the string hello world so you can see that it has printed hello world and hello world so i'll just separate it so that it will be a bit easier for you to understand okay so i'll just put a new line character and again i'll just run it again i'll just write hello world so here you can see okay this is the hello world from the first okay from the first for loop that we have printed okay and this is the hello world from the second for loop okay with the help of at of i it means we have we have extracted all the characters okay starting from 0 to the size of the string so in this way okay in c++ we can also print the string with the help of for loop by using the length function and by using the size function okay we ca we can also use okay we can also write this like this for i and i equal to 0 okay st of i 
is not equal to we can also okay uh, compare it to null okay so when it is not equal to null till null it will count and when it will encounter the null okay it will just print the string so i'll just write it is not equal to null okay so this is it so now we'll just try to print it again okay so there are different ways okay with the help of different page you can just read and you can just print so now we'll just write hello how are you so it has printed hello how are you and hello how are you okay so these are the ways with the help of which you can okay print the string with the help of for loop or you can directly okay this is a, this is this string class gives you okay the proper functions or a proper methods to directly print okay so if you just write st so your string will be printed directly okay so there is no need to use the for loop so again if i just write hello how are you so it has printed hello how are you okay so in this way this can be done so i hope now this clear to you thanks